Okay, now we're going to take a look at the first of two games uh, from start to finish. Uh, this first game is going to be won by the white uh, pieces. Again, these are, I call these white, not blue. But, uh, and uh, the, the white side was played by the grandmaster of this game, the best player that, that we know of who's ever played this game. Um, and the black pieces were played by a very good player, very very strong player. And um, this game was brought to my attention by, by, by another master of the game, a friend of mine named Fuifo, who, um, who did, is responsible for the analysis of the game. And, uh, and now I'm, I'm going to be presenting it to you. Uh, the game is, it's a short game. Both sides play very strong. Um, there's one move in particular that uh, we wanted to impress upon you. It's one where it's an example of a move that uh, threatens two things at once. You know, white threatens two, two, two things at once. Um, and that's the strongest weapon that, that white has to penetrate a good black uh, defense. Okay, so uh, we'll just go ahead and get started here. The first move was, was that one there, of course. By now you should know the benefits of that move. Uh, opening, opening the line, and now, now this is closing it. That's the best move for black. We have, let's see, this one, which of course is another excellent move. Uh, you can see that the board is being developed kind of two separate places, which is great, but he's inviting Black to lose time here. He wants Black to do that and lose time, and the game would be quickly over after that with a white win. But, uh, of course, Black Black is not going to do that. Black's going to do that, which is, which is fine. He's defending this piece here, preventing, uh, eventually preventing this, this uh, half-open row from being fully open later. Um, and now we're at the move here. This is one of the, one of the greatest moves ever played in this game that, that we've ever seen. Um, there's probably just this one person in the whole entire world who would think to play that move. <coughs> uh, it's an outstanding move. Um, so, well, why? Well, he's asking Black, wh which side are you gonna are you gonna protect now? He's got two things going on. Which one are you going to do? Um, <clears throat> because if if Black didn't respond this way, but if, you know, that would be a good response again because he opened up this line, and so it needs to be closed. But the problem with that, though, now is that <clears throat> if White moves here, um, you know, it can't be taken or else the game would be, this piece can't be taken or else the game would be over. Um, so, the white attack on this piece C4 here is, it would be strength, it's strengthened by the influence that B7 has here on, on, on B5. So, I mean, if he, so if, so if black at this point opted to, to go here, the downside of that is that uh, white was able to move in the A9 sector of the board for free, meaning he's ahead over here in tempo. So... So you, you can see the dilemma that Black's in there from just that one move. And uh, that's why it was just probably the greatest move we've ever seen in that, in that situation. It's really incredible. Um, so Black actually did opt for this option here. Um, and then White moved there. And then now he closes this off, but he's still behind. You know, he's still behind in tempo. Uh, yeah, he's closed this off, so now white, White's only choice is to attack over here, but this is where he's ahead, so, <clears throat> um, so here he goes, and then he's going to try it now, now Black's trying to, uh, he, he knows that White's aiming, that can only aim for this corner, and then this is another really good move here, he's creating sort of a, a secondary attack <clears throat> in order to free up, try, hopefully free up some space over here. Um, and then, so Black is going to move there. He's, 
trying black's trying to neutralize uh the influence that g eight has here on e eight um let's see So, you know, white white was shifting the attack there to F7, but it's just to eventually gain time, and here you're going to see why. And so he gained extra tempo there. Um, <clears throat> and um, let's see. And that was done next. This one here because see he uh, you have Rachi here check and if he moved here the game's over because now he has an isolated you know uh, you know piece piece over here the game the game the game would eventually you know in the next you know five or six moves it would be over so he ha he has to move this piece to get out of check <clears throat> and then you have let's see. move and then now you have this one from black now he's the king surrounded on three sides and just black just needs one more to win the game um, <clears throat> uh, so white was threatening you know was threatening to go that way and now he's actually he's gonna do it um, let's see and now we're in check again he only has one option right there and then the last move of the game was right here. Um, so the black resigns at this point because black black can't win. You know, white's next move is going to be there. So I mean, if black, you know, he, he can't move this piece because if he moves here, then it's checkmate here. You know, so uh, so black black resigned the game. Uh, white was going to white white's in a forced win situation. White cannot lose. So there you go with the first example. The next one we'll, I'll show you is where a Grandmaster plays black and, um, and uh, won the game.